Isen T400 Smart Soldering Station. It comes with AC Pure Isolation. High Power Ring Transformer. By matching with the High Efficient Soldering System. It enables rapid heating and smart temperature control. Connect to peripherals through EB01 Docking Station. Including Mini Hot Air Iron, Chip Polishing Pen, Desoldering Heating Station, Chip Glue Removal Stand, Fume Extractor, Dual Tip Tweezers, Automatic Tin Feeder, and T2254 in one smart soldering handle. Easily handle with complicated soldering requirements. Main Interface This video introduces the operation of T400 only. We will introduce the detailed operation of EB01 Docking Station separately. Turn on T400. We can see its main interface. The product name is displayed on the upper left corner. Further to the right are software version, booting time, temperature in the case, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and buzzer. The small number on the left represents the set temperature of the soldering tip. The three sets of numbers below represent the temperature shortcut channels. You can quickly switch temperatures here. The right handle is T225. The left process bar indicates the power of the handle. Pick up the handle and the temperature rises sharply. Power increases rapidly. When the temperature stabilizes, the power drops sharply and stays steadily. The power will change according to the soldering conditions. Curve Interface Press the button in the middle of the soldering station to confirm. It will enter the curve interface of T400. The red number on the left refers to the set temperature. The green number on the right represents the power of the soldering tip. The blue number below represents the time to enter the curve interface. Press the confirm button again to return to the main interface. Temperature setting. Long press the confirmation button to enter the setting interface of T400. Select, temperature. The first one is, unit. We can set, Celsius, or, Fahrenheit. Press the left button to go back. The second one is, channel. Users can set the temperature shortcut according to their needs. Press the right button to exit. We can see that the temperature shortcut channels below the main interface handle have been set completely. The third one is, compensate. Users can compensate for the temperature difference based on the actual temperature of soldering tip. In temperature compensation, a digital thermometer is needed to measure the actual temperature of the soldering tip. Firstly, set the temperature of the soldering tip to 300 degrees Celsius. Place the soldering tip on the triangle thermocouple of the digital thermometer. It can be seen that the actual temperature of the soldering tip is 305 degrees Celsius. Set temperature compensation to minus 5 degrees Celsius. Back to the main interface. Then touch the triangular thermocouple with the soldering tip. The actual temperature of the soldering tip now is 300 degrees Celsius. It is the same as the temperature displayed on the host the temperature calibration complete. Standby setting. Enter the settings interface. Select, standby. The first option is, temperature. Users can set the temperature of standby mode according to their needs. Here we set it to 150 degrees Celsius. Exit to the main interface. The standby temperature is 150 degrees Celsius. Turn off standby temperature. The soldering tip enters normal temperature state. The second one is, delay. Set the delay time to 5 seconds. Exit to the main interface. Pick up the handle and then put the handle back. The handle goes into standby mode after 5 seconds. The third one is, display. After turning on, when the soldering station enters standby mode, the logo of ISON will be displayed on the screen. Press any button to exit this interface. The fourth one is, sleep time. It will exit the standby state after reaching the set time. Here we set it as 1 minute. Back to the main interface. Pick up the handle and then put the handle back. The soldering tip enters to normal temperature state automatically after one minute. The fifth is T225 sleep set. You can choose to turn on off still sleep. After turning it on, the soldering handle is able to stand by during still mode. Level sleep can be turned on off.
After turning it on, the soldering handle will enter standby mode automatically when it's placed flatly. Voice control. T400 also supports voice control. System settings. Enter the settings interface. Select system. The first one is language. We can set Chinese, English, and Russian here. The second one is sound. If it's turned off, the station will enter mute state. The third one is WIFI. Wi-Fi can be turned on or off. Select Wi-Fi settings and scan the QR code to enter the mini programmer to connect with Wi-Fi. Click product info. Select ISIN Assistant. Select System Info on the device. Select Activation Info. We can find the device SN here. Find the corresponding SN on the mobile phone. Click Connect. Enter Wi-Fi Password. Click Send. It will connect with Wi-Fi. Connect with Wi-Fi successfully. The fourth one is Theme. Users can select dark mode or light mode. The fifth one is reset. We can restore all settings of the device by clicking restore all. Restore all settings related with temperature by clicking restore temperature. Restore language. Restore to the default language. Restore standby. Restore to the default standby setting. The sixth one is experimental feature. Security protection, the soldering tip will enter the protection state automatically after it is heated to the specified time. Here we set to 1 minutes. Pick up the soldering handle to heat it. It will enter the protection state automatically after 1 minutes. Touch the socket to continue heating. Holder test. Turn on, to click. Exit to the main interface. Pick up the soldering tip and double-click the standby holder to switch the temperature of CH channel. Turn on, swap socket. Return to the main interface. Stop heating after the soldering tip touches the swapping socket. Long touch the standby holder to start heating. Put the soldering tip back into the standby holder. The seventh is, Bluetooth linkage. You can select to turn on or off the linkage with Fume Extractor. When two devices are all supplied with power, turn on T400. It prompts ES02 is applying for connection. Select Agree. The two devices will be connected successfully. The eighth one is Working Time. We can see the booting time and the total working time of T400. The ninth one is system info. Here it includes, version. In, service, we can find the hotline, email, and official website. As well as, production date, and activation info. Remote upgrade. T400 supports remote upgrade. Connect the Type-C cable to the computer. Then connect the other end to T400. Download ISIN software from ISIN official website. Open ISIN software. The software will identify T400 automatically. Now we can see the latest version is 1.01. When a new version is released in the future, select the version you want to upgrade to. Click Upgrade, and it will be upgraded to the selected version. Or connect with Wi-Fi and upgrade through the device. T400 Smart Soldering Workstation will break through traditional soldering scenarios and realize ecological linkage. It greatly reduced the soldering cost and improved efficiency. Turn off T400. Above is all the operation of T400. To learn more about ISIN products and software updates, please follow ISIN YouTube channel or official website www.ison.com.